U-606 continues her first and very successful war patrol. After intercepting and sinking HMS Nelson, which took eight torpedoes, we have turned on a course of 250. We plan to patrol the Arctic convoy route. Hopefully we will stumble across an enemy convoy going to or from the USSR. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard U-606 as we continue our first patrol. In the last video, we managed to intercept and sink HMS Nelson, and today we will be finishing up our assigned orders from BDU. So, we still need to travel 2,250 kilometers inside the marked area. We're about three quarters of the way done with that, and we should be able to finish this up shortly. In addition to that, we also have to sink 7,000 tons of merchant shipping, and I'm hoping we will be able to do that here in Grid AE6, where I'm going to set up a little patrol area and hopefully intercept some convoys going from the United Kingdom to the USSR. If we are unsuccessful in finding a convoy up here, then we will move southwest towards the North Atlantic and probably patrol off the Rockall Bank here and try to intercept uh, convoys going from the UK to North America. I think our chances will be rather high of finding enemy merchant ships in this area. And currently, the situation on the boat is relatively good. The food situation is fine. We have quite a bit of food in the storage room and our one potato that we retrieved from HMS Nelson. And then uh, we're going to keep this potato in here. That's a special potato. But we also have quite a bit of food in the galley as well, as you can see. So food should be fine. I've learned my lesson. Uh, take lots of food. <laughs> so we will not run out of that. Still have plenty of deck gun ammunition. Have not used the deck gun at all this patrol. And uh, flat gun ammo as well. Um, the stern torpedo room. We have not fired any eels from the stern. So we have one T2 in the tube and one T2 in reserves there. And then if we go into the bow torpedo room, you can see my men are working on loading this bad boy up. However, we only have four T2 torpedoes. HMS Nelson ate eight torpedoes, so uh, that does not leave a whole lot for us uh, in, the, in the bow tubes. But that's okay. We will make do. And with the deck gun ammunition we have available, I don't see an issue with meeting the 7,000 ton quota. Other than that, the crew's in pretty good shape. Our radio man is currently getting some rest. We're reloading the torpedoes. And we are making our way to grid AE9, AE6, excuse me, at around nine knots. We will do frequent hydrophone checks as per usual. And I will keep you all updated as we close in on our patrol area. Oh, eins geladen. Well, here we go. The watch crew has spotted chimney smoke on the horizon. I'm getting our radio operator on a station, so we can go ahead and report this to BDU. According to the map, it is a fairly large, or I guess it's technically a small group according to the game, but five to 12 vessels. If it's 12 vessels, I consider that large. Larger than most things we stumble across out here. Let's go ahead and mark its position and uh, figure out where they are heading directly towards us. Well, that is quite nice of them now, isn't it? And are they are they zigzagging about? It's kind of difficult to tell here. They, they may be a little bit. We may submerge the boat here shortly as they are getting rather close to our current position. And yeah, this is actually a pretty good spot we are in. Let's run parallel to this course. And how far away are we from their approximate track? Well, a couple of kilometers, so we will continue to close in just a little bit. And we will continue to use some time compression here. It does look like they are zigzagging just a little bit, which is interesting. Okay, can I see them on the horizon? I was about to check. I'm kind of worried now. Let's see what we Copy got. Team. Should be up uh, ahead here. Six time zoom. Hmm, nothing yet. 
continue to use some time compression. I think five to 12 ships would kick up a lot of smoke, but it is pretty, pretty hazy out and a little dark. Continue to use some more time compression here. Destroyer, a Corvette. Okay. Periscope depth then. And you get on the hydrophone. Hopefully this is just the escort and it is uh, escorting some cargo ships or something. It's not, not just five flower class Corvettes or something like that. Okay, we'll use a bit of time compression here. Okay, the boat is submerged. I'll sign an additional sailor here. Just have... Oh my goodness, just five cor five Corvettes. Just my luck. Shouldn't these guys be uh, escorting some... Okay, we have a real destroyer now. It's like a black swan or something. Okay, well, we are going to turn away. Dive the boat down to 80 meters. Yeah, I'm not going to tangle with this. That's quite a few destroyers. Three destroyers and all these Corvettes. I'm not really going to mess with that. Yep, quite a few enemies. Well, we are just going to skedaddle on out of here. I do not want to tangle with all these destroyers. That is, uh, I mean, certain death really for us. So we are just going to head away from them and hopefully we'll encounter a real convoy soon. Okay, just a brief update on the situation. U-606 has broken contact from the warships. Discipline is on the rise. It depleted quite a lot because we were sitting at 70 meters. As you can see, it's at 13%, but now it's going up that we are at PD. And this group of warships continued sailing on their course. They didn't pick us up or anything like that, so we are getting away scot-free. Anyway, we're going to continue to head south and uh, keep on patrolling this area. Hopefully we come across a large convoy relatively soon. Contrail spotted a one aircraft way out there. It looks like it is flying away, however, so it's really a non-issue. Hopefully it keeps on flying that way. We are inching closer and closer to the United Kingdom at this point, as I have not really detected anything since that large group of warships. We've currently been at sea for 16 days. It's September 25th, 1942, and I did not mean to do that. Okay, we've had an aircraft pop up on us. It is heading directly for us. Uh, crash dive. I'll head flank. Try to get this boat under rather quickly, please. Before we are bombed. Where is it? Is it coming for us? And there's our submarine out there. Well, we'll see if this aircraft gets a pretty good hit on us. Let's report this to BDU before the boat is completely submerged. No. There we go. And there's our boat. This aircraft's probably about to make its attack run. Oh, contact is lost. Okay, how long does it take to dive a Type 7 boat? Let's go, boys. Come on. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Okay, dropping like a rock now. Thank you. Good work. Aircraft is buzzing around. We'll see if it dropped any depth charges. Let's get 30 meters. Okay, get on the hydrophone, please. Let's just drop down the 90. Actually, 60 meters should be sufficient. Oh, looks like no depth charges have been dropped. Everything's going smoothly. The cook's still uh, cooking up a dish. It's dedication. 
Okay, well, we'll use a little bit of time compression. It looks like it is still flying around this area searching for us. And uh, it disappeared. It's going on its way. Okay, well, we will stay submerged for at least a couple of hours. And uh, I guess this is a good time to do a hydrophone check. Like I said, um, still nothing. That's the first contact in a while. Okay, we have finally picked up some propeller noises here. A tiny group, one to three vessels. Let it mark this down and use a little bit of time compression and see exactly where they are heading. It looks like they are heading away from us, so we are most certainly going to have to surface to catch up to these uh, propeller noises because they are, whatever this is, it's rather far away. Okay, let's plot a course. It's like the target is heading 252 thereabouts. Okay. Wow, we are currently 89 kilometers away. All right. Uh, surface the boat. Time to uh, try to chase these guys down. Okay, we have made contact with the chimney smoke here. They are pretty close, and they have changed course. They may have made a sudden turn, but we'll see. We're getting a little close to them. We should be able to make visual contact yeah, here shortly. You see the waves have gotten rather choppy today. I'm just doing a quick scan to see if I can see any smoke or anything on the horizon. It doesn't look like it. I am hoping that this is a merchant ship. And hopefully it's not three warships again. Because <laughs> uh, we need to sink 7,000 tons of merchant shipping. So, the warships do not count towards this quota. Okay, we're going to cut into the target's course here. And we should make a visual contact here shortly. Oh my gosh, a destroyer. Another one. Okay, periscope depth. Periscope depth. Periscope depth. Is it just a warship? Warships. Ugh, that's not really uh, reassuring. Okay, so there's a destroyer and a flower class Corvette. Possibly not, it just says Corvette. Okay, the Isles class. So it's just these two guys. Well, we're gonna turn away. Not our primary target and not worth a torpedo. So we're going to break contact and continue hunting. Okay, we have more chimney smoke on the horizon. I am going to move to investigate and we will see what is going on here. Let's go ahead and report this to BDU. Hopefully it's a merchant ship. I don't think I've seen a single merchant ship this entire patrol, which uh, I'm starting to get kind of worried that my game may be a bit bugged out here. Uh, but we're gonna close in. Transports, okay. Okay, I was, I was starting to get worried because I was like, man, it has been a while since I have seen a uh, merchant vessel. But here we go. It looks like we have one and one flower class Corvette escorting the merchant. Let's go down to periscope depth, shall we? Before they start firing at us. Periscope depth, please. Okay, one freighter and one Corvette. Ian, can you get on the hydrophone, please? There we go. Propeller, more propeller noises. Large group, 10 to 24 ships. Oh, what luck. It looks like everything's starting to appear all at once. Now, here's the question. I think I want to go for this large group of 10 to 24 vessels. Uh, we only have four bow. Well, I could shoot a stern torpedo at this transport. The, the problem is if this Corvette picks us up and suppresses us long enough for this large group to move away. Let's see what direction this Lord they're heading northeast. I think I am going to head towards the large group, uh, mostly because I probably will be able to sink at least two ships if it is a large convoy and get that 7,000 tons. So we're going to break away from this tiny group 
and head towards the large convoy over here. So let's start tracking it properly. Mark that down. Yeah, it looks like they are heading northeast. Okay. Well, let's head that way. We are going to just break contact from this Corvette here and uh, hunt down this large convoy. Well, we've gotten into a pretty good spot here, and I think we'll be able to intercept the enemy convoy with ease at this point. So we are going to submerge the boat and also reduce speed to save some fuel. Fuel is down to 21%, so we are definitely going to have to watch that on the return trip to Bergen. Although I do think uh, we'll be heading to Bergen after this attack, quite frankly, with only, you know, four torpedoes in the bow torpedo room. I... I don't think we'll be out on patrol for much longer. So get a man on the hydrophone right now. Propeller noises. This is probably the group that we disengaged with uh, previously. I do want to begin preheating all of our torpedoes now, however. Let's get that going. All right. And we'll slowly but surely figure out what is in this convoy. They're still rather far away. And you know what? I'll get both of my mechanics to start preheating torpedoes. Go. Looking good. And then I'll get one of them on the depth keeping station just so our conning tower doesn't breach the surface or anything like that. And we are spotted by the enemy. It is very bright out. It's currently at 1022 in the morning, so. Uh, we will be fairly easy to spot, that's for sure. Okay, slowly preheating all those eels. <clears throat> okay, one more. Get that one preheated. Thank you, and we'll go to the rear of the boat and preheat the stern torpedo as well. Start getting tube 5 ready. I would like to fire it off. I do think we will be able to reach the 7,000 ton quota rather easily uh, in this attack. You get on the depth keeping steers, please. During the area. Very ominous. And um, get the periscope down. Please, thank you. Okay, I have a large group of ships. It may be a convoy. Those are reassuring words, that's for sure. I think he is talking about this group here. Inaccurate contact. They may be anywhere in the radius of seven kilometers. And there we go. Corvette in the lead. Let's put some distance between us and that Corvette. Do not want to be detected by that. That's for sure. Turn off our gyro compass as well. As we want to make as little noise as possible. Discipline is plummeting. Due to the alarm, fatigue, and too much work from officers as well. Uh, they're going to have to suck that up. This is no pleasure cruise. Okay. All right. We got a merchant ship here. Freighter. Awesome. Let's actually 315 this target so I can try to figure out what their speed is. I want a pretty good solution for this attack. And start. And th this is a Soviet vessel. Okay. That is, that is interesting. Yeah, what's this Corvette? Is it a... Russian Corvette too? No, it's an American. American Corvette in the lead. It's a freighter. Okay. Uh, another Russian freighter. Oh, that's the same one. Excuse About this one. Oh, it's just the same same ship. It, okay, and here we go. Another a British. Uh, what is this? C3 cargo. Okay, cool. Lots of different nationalities in this convoy. We're going to run outside of it, and I'll probably, possibly just fire at these guys right here. Okay, closing in on 15 seconds. We'll leave a mark, and this should give us a pretty accurate reading of what their speed is. Mark, there we go. Okay, from 0.3 to 0 0.46, 0 0.8 knots. Well, you know, I'm probably just, oh, this is right here. I'm just going to plug in seven. Round up. Should be fine. Angle on bow is going to be to starboard. Of course, let's turn this on. Speed is going to be 30 knots for these G70 torpedoes. Okay. 
Okay, and we will be firing valve tubes first. Okay, a bit more time compression, we can get rid of that. So far, no tankers or anything big, so I'm just trying to pick my targets based on what will be easiest to hit. Oh, did I speak too soon? I think I did. We have a tanker. Okay, that is going to be primary then. Okay, we'll turn in towards the cruiser destroyer at 10 o'clock. Okay. Not a fan of that. So the tanker is going to be the primary target here. Let's avoid getting spotted. Let's drop down like to 14 meters. Just a little deeper. So we're a bit harder to spot. Uh, like I said, I don't want my conning tower uh, breaking the surface and the enemy seeing me and firing at me. Okay, this is looking good, and we are in the convoy. What is this? A cruiser? Oh, we got the Kirov here. Well, I know it won't contribute to our 7,000 ton quota, but I'm obviously going to shoot at it. <laughs> that is that is quite the target. That's cool. And uh, in one patrol, we have found two of the larger warships in the game. That's pretty awesome. It looks like the Kirov has depth charge racks in the rear. I did not know she carried those. That's interesting for sure. Okay, well, uh, primary target has changed. I think I can still hit both here. Okay, let's turn. I am worried about this merchant ship sighting me. Hmm. So going five knots. Change course slightly. Low discipline. Okay, hopefully our torpedoes are still preheated too. I know it's a little late. Okay, they are. We're good. Phew. Okay, let's go to periscope depth, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to fire at the Kirov first, of course. Okay, we are at PD. Up scope. Let's go ahead and pull up the Kirov here. Kirov, 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 Kirov. Kirov class. 7,000 tons. Up scope. Let's have this peak up above the water. Okay, that is the oiler. We will fire at that one right after we set up our attack on the Kirov. Come on, lock on target, please. There we go. Thank you. Recognize. Range to target. Let's just use this real fast. Oh. Set. Three kilometers. Okay. Three kilometers. Come on, I gotta see it. I need to know what the AOB is. Okay, probably... 75 to starboard. Speed seven knots. Okay, everything looks good. I think she's probably at 2.5. Okay, tubes one and two flood. This part, we don't really want to spread. Depth 1.5 meter, 1.5 meters. Don't want them running under the ship. Okay, tubes one and two. Yes. Okay, unlock. on this target tanker this is what the war class possibly uh, let's flip rapidly click frantically war class yes range to target 1.5 we kind of we'll just guess angle on bow just over 90 speed seven knots everything's looking good set flood Four tube three, three. 1.5 meters we'll fire Four two no dispersion just barely any actually 
Rohr 3 bewässert. Three is flooded, four is flooded, oh. fire two. Hey, two torpedoes away. Next up is tube number five. Up scope. We want to fire this one when these torpedoes are closer to impact. I was going to fire at this guy right here. He's pretty close. I don't think these other ships are going to have much time to react at this point. Let's set up our solution. Up scope. Where are you? This one, lock on, eh, is that it? Oh, that's not the best angle. We will do it anyway. Angle on bow, 100, probably 110 to port, speed seven knots. Firing a stern tube here. Here we go. 40. Oh, it's a G70, excuse me. So speed will be 30. Blood oh, tube five. Bebeza. That's going to be tough. Okay, we hit the the tanker. Fire tube five. Dive 90 meters. And let's watch this cure off. Alarms are going off. I'm not seeing the torpedoes. Oh, there we go. One hit. Awesome. Two hits right in the bow. We'll see if that's enough. Of course, we have our tanker, which seems to have already sunk. Unfortunately, I missed that, but the Kirov was the, the more interesting vessel than the tanker, if we're being honest. And she is engulfed in flames. I don't know if that was enough to sink her. I hope so. Looks like pretty big fire has broken out on board. Okay. Well, we have our other torpedo heading towards this target as well. We are dropping down like a rock. Okay, let's turn tail and get the hell out of here. Okay, torpedo number five. So that is pretty good odds. It is possible the ship has slowed down. We'll see. Those are torpedo runs towards it. I'm not... Yeah, it's going to miss. Tube five miss. Uh, that was probably the toughest shot out of the bunch. And now I'm really just curious if the Kirov will go down. It looks like she is going to go down. Awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Two of the two warships and one patrol, like large warships. Fantastic. Okay, there we go. Two ships sunk at this point. I'm trying to plan our escape. Maybe it's just slipping in between these two corvettes. We have one torpedo left at this point. I think we are just going to turn tail and try to get the heck out of here. It's unfortunate this uh, torpedo did not end up hitting uh, that ship, but uh, it was a it was a tough shot anyway. That angle was less than ideal. Down to down to 120, please. What's our, let's slow down. Go really slow here. Silent running, baby. That is great. We sunk a Kirov class. I, you know, we didn't accomplish this. This 6,000 out of 7,000 tons of uh, merchant shipping. Well, oh well. Hopefully BDU won't be too upset. You know, all things considered. I don't know if the warships, I really even know where I am. We may get away scot-free here okay propeller noises we have another group out here three to seven ships and we ha do have dead gun ammunition so if i stumble across a you know unescorted uh merchant ship i will be able to engage the corvette looks like it's going to investigate the molotov here but we have we are slipping away awesome I wonder if there's any uh, wreckage floating. No, not really. Discipline is dropping, even though we just shot a cruiser. They are they're apparently not happy. It'll be depleted rapidly pretty soon here. We'll have to deal with the repercussions of that, but it shouldn't be too bad. 
And we have broken contact. And it is so dark down here. Oh, zoom in. Let's just look at our boat. How's it going, boys? How's it going down here? Uh, someone's about to break 4% and will be depleted in one minute. Let's rig for blue. That should help a little bit. I should have thought about that earlier, but it is what it is. I'll just continue to slip away. Three percent. Oh, I'll just I haven't really showed off what happens when it breaks, so forty seconds. Yeah, it looks like the blue light wasn't gonna help at all here. Does this does Okay, who is broken? Our dive planesman. Okay. Oh, he's running. Okay, let's go here. Actually, you come. Come and try to calm this guy down. Looks like he's running to the aft torpedo room. I'm just cowering in a corner, even though nothing's going to happen. It looks like Kosh here is going to go knock him out. <laughs> okay. Um, normally, you can right click and you have a, an option to, you know, just try to talk him down, but he's just going, going straight for the, the knockout blow here. Oh, well, we'll let them uh, handle that. But other than that, uh, the boat's okay. As you can see, discipline has come up. We can probably come up to Periscope Death, but I want to play it safe. Sailor's in a critical state? Did he kill him? Oh, he's okay. He's all right. They're walking him back. Okay. Well, we are going to break contact, of course, and head back to Bergen at this point. Uh, if we don't meet this, that's fine. Our fuel state's at 21%, and I'd rather not be stranded at sea. And let's see what the food situation is currently. Still have plenty of food. 100, 100 canned bread here. Um, it looks like my potato from HMS Nelson was used. How dare you. I hope it was delicious, crew. Well, that's it. We are going to break contact. I'll come up to periscope depth and maybe like 20 minutes or so to shoot off these radio messages. I want these guys to get far away though. They can intercept uh, your radio messages. So that's something I want to avoid. And we will plot a course home to Bergen. Of course, as always, I will keep you all updated as the situation develops. Well, I surfaced the boat and started heading away. We've already recharged our oxygen and our compressed air and all that good stuff. However, we have encountered this, a tiny group, uh, chimney smoke on the horizon. So I am just going to move here and investigate uh, yeah, this. We are going to assign two sailors to the diesel engine room from here on out. Okay, a tanker. And apparently I missed my compressed air. Is it just sitting here? Is it really? Did it drop out of the convoy? It's an American tanker. It's not moving at all? Is it by itself? That's super weird. Maybe it uh, had engine troubles and dropped out of the convoy? I have no earthly idea, but I am not going to question it. And I am going to open fire with a deck gun. Low discipline? What is wrong with you guys? Alarm, fatigue, too much work from officers? Sad. Okay, get on the deck gun. And we will close and finish this merchant ship off. That's weird. I've actually never seen this in game, so... Oh, he sunk it. Well, that was... I guess he was opening fire on it. I did not realize he was opening fire already. Well, we can look and barely see it underwater. Okay. Henry H. Blood sunk. Okay. Well, we will send that to BDU and head back to Bergen. Well, we have successfully made it in the Bergen with 8% fuel left. It is a good thing we decided to return home when we did, because that is a mighty close call. I have a few ships here in the harbor, as you can see. 
And uh, quite a few. I guess there were other ships here, maybe. I saw the icon there. Yeah, I guess there's one here. But we're going to head towards our berth and wrap up this patrol. Overall, it was a pretty good one for our boat. I gotta say it went rather well. It was cool seeing all these large warships. Okay, it's time to slow down and it should pop us into our berth here soon. Uh, make sure we're going towards the right one. There we go. Perfect. And here we are. We are home with with 8% fuel. Yeah, wild. <laughs> very, very lucky indeed. Okay, and me. I have received a new decoration. Iron Cross 2nd Class. Iron Cross 1st Class. German Cross and Gold. And the Knight's Cross. Knight's Cross with Oak Leaves. And uh, we're, we're getting there to uh, Knight's Cross with oak, oak Leaves and Cross Swords. Let's see... How close are we? Wow, that was uh, overall a very good patrol for us. Okay, we're about halfway there. And here we can see we ended up accomplishing our mission. We sunk 20,205 tons and we spent 32 days at sea. And here's the ships we sunk. The Nelson and the Kirov class cruiser, of course, are the big ones. And we, of course, completed our objective. Well, that's all I really have for this one. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it does really help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I will see you all on the next one.